Hey everyone, it's the Tiger Shark. Welcome to another video where today I am finally going to be getting out episode 1 of Spotlight Seasons. I recorded this on Thursday and it just didn't work. It didn't work, it didn't transfer over. So I'm doing it again. It is now Saturday, so. <clears throat> Took a bit, sorry about that, but. We are here, and uh, Game 1 of the World Series ended with uh, the Phillies winning. So that happened. Uh, so we might mix in Super Charge... Not, not you, Johnny Bench, no. Uh, we might be mixing in some Super Charges, but today is Episode 1 of Spotlight Seasons. And... Hopefully, I hope you guys were able to guess who got the spotlight in 2012. Because there's really only one answer. There's one good option. And his card came out yesterday, which is why I didn't get this up yesterday. Because I had to grind for it. So that should have been a dead giveaway. Miguel Cabrera, 2012 Triple Crown American League MVP. Uh easily had the spotlight to himself that year. So he'll be yeah, hit him for if that works. Uh, that looks more like real life. <laughs> it's all a joke because I always hit him so low in the lineup. It works. I'm fine with him hitting lower in the lineup. He does well, but... Here are the other supercharges. It's Real Muto. Uh, nah, I like having the other lefties, so. This probably is going to be the, the team. I think I'm going to start Maddox because he got his card. So, we'll go with Maddox using Miguel Cabrera. And let me make sure my jerseys are right. They are. Detroit. Uh, normally I'd give you guys my reactions to these cards, uh, which I guess I will. Joe Nathan, he's okay. Curtis Granderson, could be better. Greg Maddox, insane. Trevor Story, best shortstop in the game. Uh, Stan Musial, really good. And Miguel Cabrera. Well, I knew what to expect. Uh, postseason, gotta get up to all this CS stuff, uh. Oh, I see guy, he's okay. Brantley, he's back. Dorori is good. Muncie, I like Muncie. Uh, Bell's insane. Oswald is okay. Gratterall is back and better than ever. Musgrove is cracked. Rizzo is insane. Cole is insane. Grisham is... Juiced. Hater is insane. Eddie is, you know, back and... As bad as always, and it's a joke. Uh, and then Bader is just... Um, yeah. Well. Hopping in to ranked seasons. Blech. Yeah, we have to play at this horrid stadium if we're the home team. So part of me wants to be the home team for Miggy. The other part of me is sick and tired of this terrible stadium because this is the second time I've recorded this video using two different Miggy cards so part of me wants to get away from the stadium the other part of me wants to be at the stadium for Miggy I'd be fine if we were at like old Miami but that was before Miggy got the spotlight if you know what I mean so like I said we'll start Maddox I have a lot of velocity with like Grayson, Randy, Cindergard. So this is going to be a very different feel on the mound from what I'm used to. And I'm excited to try Greg Maddox online. Uh, 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 this guy's li I can pitch to his lineup. The problem is he's got Oral. He's got frickin' Oral Hershizer, man. Oral Hershizer. 
All right, ready to get underway. Digging okay. in, Francisco Lindor. Do you reason why the other one messed up was because I played two games and took too long? So this one we're only gonna play one game regardless, so hopefully it's it's quick. Oh. Swing and a high fly ball. We're the home team. Right field. That one's back there. And gone. Off to a hot start. It's got some Astros jerseys on. I'd like to see it. Uh, Chase Utley. He's got what am I doing? What am I? What am I? Contact skills, one of the best contact Thank goodness Chase Utley game. didn't destroy that. How was he late on that? I the hardest I can throw is 93. I really don't know what to do because you really have to mix up pitches when you can't when you don't have put away velocity. Like the thing with Maddox is he doesn't have a put away pitch because he doesn't throw hard enough to set up a short as an off speed pitch, and he. Yeah. Stays alive. Yeah, no. If if you're if you're timing up Maddox, you're gonna have a heyday at the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball. Stuff like this goes. happens when you're that's using him. So yeah. This guy's a fun guy to watch. I instantly knew I shouldn't have used Maddox. Doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on this at bat isn't going to end. Like, I guarantee you, this guy's not going to put up a good enough right. swing to hit it and play. In the air, out towards right Unless seven. that happens. Uh, but Maddox isn't good enough to put him away. Unless he hits it and play. That's the thing with Maddox. He's not going to get any strikeouts online for you. Stepping in, Vladimir Guerrero. Me, already at a disadvantage, has to absolutely just pop off in the clutch. And he swings and misses. That the initial oh, this isn't going to go well, is it? Oh, He's no. Center field. I can already feel this going in a very bad place. And Got I've only thrown 13 pitches. He stayed inside that ball and he's got Bryce Harper. Front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some I thought I was the only one to use so this we'll Bryce Harper. Get him into motion. Tapped in front of the play. Oh, come on. Fires to first on the run. Yeah. Harper retired. Well, in, Chipper Jones. the thing here is that this game isn't really East. about the team. It's about the one player. Yeah, it's about the spotlight. Miggy is in the spotlight, so he's got to do well. No one else really matters. This video would be a success if Miggy goes three for three with three singles, even if I lose by four. It would be a success because of Miggy's performance. But obviously, we want the rest of the team to step up and do well, get some clutch hits. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. This is where I prefer that Oral had his actual windup that I've faced before. Swing and a miss. Oh, two down. Like, if I had seen this windup used before, right I would be able to smash him. But I've never seen that windup. Right so. There's Mookie. Thought that was going to be an out for a second. second. And can't run on Vlad. Into second base. The tying run is on There's the two rules of baseball. Don't make the third second out at third. Don't run on Vlad Guerrero. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Man, it's second. And fouled off. Hershiser, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Okay, so his 97 Utley works a 10 pitch at bat. My Utley goes down on three. You're best when you let the game come to you. Try to make two There's Judge. Right there. Miggy's yeah, on deck. I don't know why I've been. I've used there. Judge that in the three hole. Play. I know why. But the fact I'm still down. using him yeah, like this is. The stats how good his reputation is for me. Because I really like using way. him even though he goes like one for four. The punch out there. Two out. Here's Miggy. Now up to hit Miguel Cabrera. 
Good contact guy, good defender. Betts on its second with two down. 2013 MVP, 2012 MVP and Triple Crown. SES for some reason gave him a Retro Finest 2013 instead of a Triple Crown 2012, which seems weird. But this is easily the best Miguel Cabrera we've seen. Miguel Cabrera never gets enough power on his cards. Every year he's gotten the same exact 99 up until this year. The why to kick the pit. Come on. <clears throat> really? Like, that's the one chance you have of having a put away pitch with Maddox is if they swing at that. If they don't swing at that curveball, then you're going to have a rough day. This guy's team leader has three home runs. He does not play online enough. I don't know why, but I've at least off. spent hours grinding events in BR this year. So I've never played much ranked. One chance of putting him away. And yep. One and two. Maddox does not have a chance of getting a batter out if they don't swing at that. Swung on, belted. You have to get lucky with those. Everything's going to be a rocket liner when you use Maddox if your opponent knows how to swing a bat and time a ball. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. 2018 Silver Slugger Javi Baez will ground up to first. Okay. One, two, three from Maddox, even though it took way too many pitches. Here's Albert. Swing and a miss, strike one. I don't like that this guy Scott Oral. Normally Oral would be fine. If Oral oh, was man. Oral, he'd be fine. But this is not Hershiser's wind up. I don't know why SDS does this and just took away their wind ups this year. And I can't go to second. This guy turned off to shift. Smart man. You know how excited I was when Kyle Tucker hit two home runs yesterday? I was so pumped up. Five nothing Astros and then six five loss and ten. Tonight, I hope tonight goes better. If tonight doesn't go any better, then it's probably going to be a straight sweep because the Phillies are unbeatable at their home stadium. The Astros do really well at home. They're more clutch on the road, I think. That is tragic. The fact they beat Story by that much when he has 99 speed. the double play, he's trying to pick up his teammate, tie this game. Swing and that's ripped towards right side. Oh, and that's straight at him. Wow. Catch and that'll do it. Ah, oh, man. Back here in Detroit. Still one nothing. Here's Hershiser coming up. He's probably gonna hit an absolute bomb off of Maddox. Check swing, but he went too far. Or not. That's strike one. Like, if I can really paint on this guy, he won't be able to do anything aside from that one one door homer. But you have to be able to paint like that. And you have to get those check swings. And there's a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. And it's fouled away. Okay, he somehow almost homered on that. I don't know how he got anywhere near touching and that for a home run. But, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. That's a big yeah. Hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Yeah, the second I threw that, I knew it wasn't going to go well. well the reason why I threw the first air was I was wondering if he'd accidentally round it and I'd get a free out. Oh my gosh. He swung out of his cleats on that. Eyes lit up. Swung out of his cleats. 
Lindor, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And there's no put away pitch with Maddox, so I can't do anything. I'm gonna throw that same curveball every two strike count, and it won't do anything. Yeah, the right hander deals. Chop back up the middle. Story. Off balance feed. Okay, barely got the out. Uh, Trevor could have been a little bit quicker on that. Line drive to short and caught. That ball went straight down the middle. Don't know how Maddox messed it up that bad. As we go to the last of the third. And now, Greg Maddox. No pitcher. Swing and a miss. It's 0 oh, 1. And he deals. Pulls it in for the. Oddly, uh, barely got there. Here's Mookie now. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Yeah, the first offering is... one on one bets. Yeah, the righty deals. He was late there, strike one. And a count one and two. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. Oh my gosh, I... Oh wow, so this guy turned off the shift for everyone. You know, this is something new. I'm so used to hitting the ball against the shift every at bat. No shift this game. So people have to do that, like Jay Sutley, and just hit it over everyone. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Caught looking his first time out. Here's Aaron Judge. And that's pop foul behind the plate. Napoli is there. Okay, tied it up. Thank you, Chase. You all right, mate? And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Leading off, Bryce Harper. Here's Harper again. Forgot this guy at Harper. I need to pitch. stop throwing inside cutters. That one no. missed. <sighs> Why have I been throwing inside cutters and outside sliders? Regardless, there's no put away pitch, and this guy won't go out of the zone. So you have to dot the zone, where if you hit the zone at all, it's going to be a homer, because it's Greg Maddox, and he, yeah, throws it too soft. Tucker had a perfect animation to make that play, though. That's just a lucky catch to get an animation like that. Especially with a silver defender. That's just, like, run in the right direction and pray for an animation. Let's go! Pujols. Through Pujols, or through Chipper. So digging in, Todd Helton. Here's Todd the Bod. The Todd Fodder. That almost hit the zone. Ah. Wow, wow, Greg Maddox is trash. I swear, every time Maddox comes out, I'm like, okay, he's gonna be good. And then he sucks. And then the next year, I'm like, okay, he'll be good this year. And then he still sucks. Maddox is just never good. Like... He can't get swing and miss, so you have to get really lucky with animations or with jammers. No velocity, you're not going to get many jammers unless he's just really late. The only swing and miss is when he's out of his cleats. Here's the season spotlight. 
I, this is Miguel Cabrera's video. And now he is one for two, bat him 500. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield. This is season spotlights, it's a 10 episode thing, 2012 through 2022, so I'm wondering what my record will be with these players and these teams, especially like my at-bats and stuff, how well I do with them. I'll keep track of how well I do. Oh, seriously! Okay, it's 1-1 one, one now. Tucker, that ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that. Kyle Tucker puts two on the board. Here's Trevor's story. Yo, is this this guy's Hershiser debut? Or does he just really bad with him? I don't know. I mean, here's Trevor's story. That's out number two. Definitely a state view. Oh, here's Joe Mauer. Oh my gosh. I let that go by really. Like that ball came out of the hand as a curveball that was going to be up and then it... I don't know what I saw with that. With that sinker right down the middle. I really don't know what I saw. I just wasn't paying attention. Ah, uh, for a second I thought that was going past him. Good play, Hershazer. End of the fourth. I'm going to leave in Maddox for... It's 7-8-9. If he can get through Napoli... I'll leave him in for Baez, but if Napoli gets on, I might have to take him out. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning. I don't have a face cam, so you can't off. see how I reacted to that, but gosh. And yeah, like... Anything outside, inside, down, or up, he won't swing at. Anything in the zone, he'll swing at. You have to hope he's early or he whiffs in the zone. Because he's not going to go for it. He's out of the zone, but that's a strikeout. Greg Maddox striking out Mike Napoli. So, like I said, who will stay in for Baez? You know, I just realized Greg Maddox is leading off the bottom of the fifth. So I'm going to hopefully be able to leave him in until his at bat. Hopefully he can get through and then be pinch hit for. On the ground first. Pujols quick. Yes, sir. This guy is not going to leave in Hershiser. There is absolutely no chance that this guy is going to leave in Hershiser. Yeah, absolutely not. He's going to Alvarez, trying to tempt me to take out Maddox. Not until Maddox is at bat. But why am I seeing so much of this 97 Alvarez? Like, I never saw this card in July, and now I'm seeing this card in October. What? It's 2 1 on Alvarez. 2 and 1 now. That one to oh, Pujols makes the play. It yeah, normally it would be Miggy with those stuff, but. I mean. Miggy is. Miggy doesn't have to put up with that because. He's at third. Okay. 
I'm gonna go Sean Green here. Sean Green. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Almost homered. Get through. Into the outfield. Yes, sir, Sean Green. So a man on yes, sir, Sean Green. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark, but obviously out of the bullpen, you can going to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. One, two. He at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Ah, uh, strike three. There's one away. I wasn't now focused at all. That I was focused on the first two pitches and then lost focus. Swing at a ball popped up. Lindor moving under this one. My PCI is like right there. And, the <sighs> and there's two down. Man at first. Here's Aaron Judge. Mickey is on deck. On the ground right side. And that'll be an out. The tag, and that's out number three. Raleigh fingers. We'll go to Raleigh fingers here. Hopefully he can get through. Normally fingers is good in these situations. And a pitch. I don't know how he has a six ERA. He like always gets through these situations, giving up little to no runs. So. Next offering is foul. Okay. Out of his cleats, like I said. That was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. Of course, Maddox isn't on the mound anymore, so we don't really have to worry about whiffs. He'll whiff more. To, uh -oh. Out there to set Judge, up. run in. You went so slow. Nice Could have full accelerated and camped top. under it. And Instead, down. you like. Slightly jogged in the general direction and just got there. Your story. Strong throw to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Here's Vlad. Over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Swing and attack where the rolls. All right, Vlad makes contact with everything. Boys, oh one. And he's down 0 2 as he's going to do it. Kick Sandios. Yeah, he touched that. Out. That pitch was just too soft. So he was early on it. And, and strike three, you're out. Here comes Miguel Cabrera, Albert Pujols, and Kyle Tucker to start the well, we go bottom, six. bottom of the sixth. Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera! The 2012 season spotlight goes deep. They sent it out of here and they add a run. It's Miguel Cabrera. And now it's Albert Pools turn to hit. They gave him a pitch to drive and he drove it. Next offering is foul back. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Out towards left center. Jones moving back for this one. Ah, uh, okay. I was early on that. I needed to down. be... I need to have a bit later timing, so I would have squared it up and I would have gone into right. Here's Tucker. And first offering is fouled off. Kyle Tucker. Next offering is fouled back. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Ah, uh, uh, too far inside. Should not have swung. Trevor Story's up now. If I'm correct, Trevor Story. Two outs, base yes, center. Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Yeah, first offering is fouled off. Here's Trevor Story. 
I could have given Trevor Story a separate debut. On the hands, not let him get extended, because that's where the potential for damage exists. Stays alive. The one two. That one lifted to left. That was terrible. I could have mashed that if I didn't yeah, pull my PCI third. as much as I did. Whatever. It's fine. Comment section down below right now. Who you guys got well for back. the World Middle Series this seven. year? Here's Harper now. I really don't know. Because so the, the team I want to win the World Series every year never wins the World Series. And a pitch. So basically, the team I don't want to win wins every time, except for 2020 when I kind of wanted the Dodgers to win more than the Rays. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Okay, Judge is there. Josh Hader is in the game, of course. I. I haven't even now done Josh Hader's uh, Parallel XP yet, so. That one ripped. Uh, I mean, that's a Tripper Jones home run. There's that classic Tripper Swing. For a second, I thought I was about to turn on that with Telton. And ball one. Why did I dive? Maybe extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Thank you, Aaron Judge, for having just enough range to get there. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so Why did I dive? I think Story had a good enough animation to make a catch. But I dove anyway. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. Yeah. Like yeah. Yep. Well. Pack squad episode just got. No way. What? He got the dumbest foul ever. And then gets an RBI single, the next pitch. Absolutely no way. And here's Javier Baez. Yeah, yeah, left him in a pitch too long there. <laughs> that was almost bad. Here's Brewstar. High fly ball down the left field line. Tucker right there to make the grab. And there's two away. Just okay. Off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder four to three ball, ball game. Three to four that, ball game. Go up the middle, the other Absolutely not. Way with some authority. Absolutely not. And he doesn't swing at anything, except for strikes, which he mashes. When he does swing at balls, he fouls all of them off. The only balls he swung at was Hater. Seriously! I threw that pitch so high above the zone! Why did it stay so low? A big blow to the home fans. I'm gonna show you what just happened and why I'm so mad that that happened. I threw it way up here and it just perfect pinpoint and dropped so far down. It stayed right in the middle, right at the top of the zone where Babe was gonna homer on it regardless. Gosh, now I have to come back again. Oh, what the heck? How was my cord there? What? What? My cord was not over there. Come on. Really and like, what I like about this guy, his Bruce Hart doesn't have a splitter. I thought he had a splitter really last year. Okay. Missed. Thank Drop you. Set 
the he's going to Raleigh. I've got three at bats. He's got two at bats. And here comes. Ball one, no strike. And it's 1 0 to Joe Maurer. I feel like I take so many balls with Joe Maurer, but then I don't get that many good hits with him. When I get hits with him, they're pretty good, but I don't get enough of them for it to be like, oh, he's got an incredible eye. And then, of course, as I'm talking about taking pitches, I swing way outside. Okay. I'd put up with it. So does he. So they turn to a bat off the bench for the pitcher, Babe Ruth. He was in a one two count. And fouled off. If I hit that fair for a ground out in the first pitch, Time I was going to lose play. my mind. Swing and a miss. Nah. Nah. This, this guy can do whatever he wants the at the plate runs, and get results. The Absolutely hard. not. This guy can do whatever he wants and get results. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Mookie! Thank you! Mookie Betts blasts one out, and we're level. Oh my gosh! Five, five. Now here is Chase Utley. Swings through that Hero one. of the day, Mookie Betts. And yeah, that skips into there. <sighs> Left hand hitter waits. That must have been how the Phillies felt when Romuto hit that homer. And a swing ah. and a miss. And... I'm going to challenge him. I know who he's got coming up. I know what I'm doing. Now, Chase Utley. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0 and 2. Pitch has popped up. Here's Miggy. One away. There you go, Miggy. And now Vladimir This Guerrero, is why guy who makes an impact not I was unsure about who you go to. I knew who I needed to come in. That in really tough and I knew that he wasn't coming in for him. In and obviously the ability to get the strikeout factors in. Yeah, no, you can't pitch around someone like this. They take everything and then homer on the first strike to see. Okay, he pulled it through the shift. That's fine. This guy now has Bryce Harper coming up, who's better against lefties, I'm just now realizing. But that's more like inside pitches he can pull compared to... Yeah, oh my gosh, the whole point of someone like this is that they'll whiff on those down, on those breakers and then this guy doesn't swing at a single breaking ball all game. Here's fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit, Jones. More, that's way bad. Chipper Jones stands in with two away as he takes a ball. This yeah, I knew the second, the field, like the fact the that Vlad hit a single, but gone. Chipper hit a home run, is just and they grab the lead in the eight. dumbfounding it's because it's like, oh, you're, you're fine, like, Vlad hit a single, all you have to do is just, like, Harper couldn't have hit a ground ball for a double play. Well, now I'm down by two. This guy's gonna score every inning now, apparently. Like, from absolute trash to every inning. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. A lot of times with relievers, they just so do I. And they're not really looking to try and slow it down, right? They're just trying to get hyper. Yeah. I need two runs to make this come back. And I've got Aaron Judge. When they put a wrinkle, change speeds. Plays out, but he can't squeeze it. 
Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Here's Miguel Cabrera. Runner at first. Down the third baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Why? Why? I, I, I was okay. planning Cabrera on taking first pitch, and it's right when you think you're going to take, you see a pitch that yeah, looks insane. like it's hittable, like yeah. and then it's just like that. Here's some real power at the plate. Albert Pujols. Next pitch is popped Momentum Under it. killer swing. Into the glove, and that okay, now I'm kind of screwed. Because this guy this just now, homers on everything yeah. he touches. And first off, like, I don't know off. how this guy is doing what he's doing. Like... The way this guy's been playing all game shows that he does not know what he's doing. And then it's like he'll just touch every strike you throw. He'll destroy He'll destroy it. You have to get a lucky whiff. He only whiffs on pitches in the strike zone. He doesn't whiff on anything out of the zone, which makes no sense. He's a very difficult player to face. Someone you just don't want to put up with as a player in this game. Javier Baez is the one guy in the lineup I can look forward to. Because he hasn't done anything yet. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Bounced up the middle. And it gets by him. That very much should have been a double play and should have had 0% chance of getting through. But it, like, took a hop off the mound, which slowed it down, which helped it, because it slowed down, it helped it. Okay! This game right now... He muscles that one out the opposite way. This game could absolutely get lost right now. And now it's Frankie Lindor. And he'll one. And a foul ball. 0 oh and 2 now. Lindor tries to check his swing. Now look to third. Got him. Ricky Holiday with the call. Now the number two hitter, Chase Utley. Now fly ball to right center. Betts in position. He's got it. And there are two down. Now it's the right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Oh, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there. Thank yes. gosh, Mickey. Okay. okay. I now have like seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight to put up five Detroit, off of Chapman. Kyle Tucker. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. On to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Good late Her bite story. on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is fouled off. I need back. to write a Trevor story tales, this man. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Lifted in the air, out His Mauer homers on the first pitch. That'll My Mauer in. flies out on and probably a better swing. Game. And your final ten to five. Uh, this game is absolute. Sometimes absolute crap, bro. Look at that. The final three innings this guy had. Like, no, no one does that. No one should be able to do that. That's not how this game works. I'm just gonna open these five packs, man. Two, one. Well, uh, what I haven't said, 
uh, that what Miguel Cabrera had a great game, two for four with a home run. So you can't fault him. The video was technically a success, even though the game wasn't. Uh, this is Spotlight Seasons, episode one. If you enjoyed this video, comment who you think will comment who you think got the spotlight in 2013, and leave like, subscribe. That's the ball game.